This spreadsheet helps to calculate callable bonds, yield to maturity, and other yields. First we could see that we have uh, several yellow fields that need to be entered. We start out with how many years till the maturity for the bond. The second is, um, is it an annual or semi-annual? For an annual bond we would need to put one, semi-annual two. Okay, we can see the difference down here. Um, we see that we saw that it changed to one uh, because for a semi-annual you actually have twice the amount of payments per year. So if we had semi-annual, this was changed to 20, and the the amount of the periodic payment would change as well. Let's make this 1,000. Okay, so thousand dollar, thousand dollar par value, fourteen percent would normally be a hundred and forty dollars, and that's what it'd be for one year. Okay, so we see that the, we have a bond that's worth eight hundred dollars. Somebody's trying to sell a bond for for eight hundred dollars. Um, the yield to maturity here is eighteen point five four percent. If the value current value is less than par value, the yield to maturity will be greater than the coupon. Let's see if about a $1,400. We can see the opposite now. If someone's trying to sell a bond for $1,400 on a $1,000 par value, which makes sense, um, it would have to be reduced, then um, the yield to maturity and the effective rate would have to be less than the coupon rate. This is all copied over. Uh, price, let's work with price that's Okay, so that's a high rate of 14, so we're going to have some pretty high interest rates here. The current yield is uh, 15.56. Capital gains, capital gains is the yield to maturity minus the current yield. A slight gain. Um, yield to call would be realized in the event that the bond was redeemed by the issuer on the next callable date. Then we can see the bond on the changing interest rates. So the current price is 900. And these are all the different calculations we can make. We're going to probably need a pretty Okay, another one is a good way if, uh, for those who, who don't know how to use this, so how to use the yield to maturity um, feature in Excel. Just going to choose anywhere here. Well, F of X. You could either go here to, should pop up, yield. I set the spreadsheet up so the, the, um, the data will populate the fields very easily. So this one is just here, maturity date, coupon rate, price, redemption price, we need to scroll down on the right, um, frequency is how many payments, how many coupons, semi-annual, and over here we have a basis to basis, sometimes some of the calculations use 360, use some use 365, typically we just use one which is uh, 360. 60. And um, that will give you our yield to maturity. There you go.